Hey, what's going on guys? It's Coach out here. Today I'm going to teach you how to be in a CT opera and how to be extremely effective around the maps that you're playing and, you know, just be able to dominate the game because CT opping can be extremely easy if you know what you are doing and it can just be extremely powerful if you're able to, you know, float around the map and be uh, a menace in the server. So I'm going to use overpass today as an example, right? You can use the concepts I'm going to talk about on every single map. I just think it will be helpful for you guys if you can get a picture in your mind what I'm talking about instead of me just saying it. But before I get into this video, I would definitely check out my series on opping. I have a playlist and definitely check those videos out before you watch this one because I have tons of super good tips in there and extremely good advice. And also guys, I would recommend uh, if you want to take your next step as an opper inside the game, make sure to play on ESEA. I linked below in the description and in my bio um, kind of a uh, code and uh, description you can go to click to join ESEA and start your journey today is start playing on a competitive team and just take your game to the next level. So definitely check that out. But let's talk CT hopping, right? So say on any map, right? You just have a default spawn. We don't have a aggressive spawn to go for a pick or something. What should we be doing on the CT side every single round, you know, as an opera to be effective, right? Now, I just want to talk about positioning, right? So take overpass, for example, you know, we, if we have a good spawn, we might pick fountain. If not, you know, we might be posted up on an angle like this or, you know, a divider early. It doesn't matter, right? What does matter is we are choosing a line to hold, right? So what I mean by that is like, if we are here, our line right here, this is our line. We're saying that if they cross this line right here, they are going to get punished, right? So I'm in bathrooms. I'm choosing this is my line. You can't cross this line or you're dead, right? What doesn't matter what line you choose, choose to hold a line and that is what you are starting out with. Boom, I get a kill, right? Now, what what is a bad opera going to do? You know, he might re-peek here, might die to this. He might peek out here, die to this. He might re-peek back into another opera or AK holding him and he's dead or a guy close, right? What are, we, what are we trying to do when we get a kill? Right, we get a kill, boom, we fall, right? We choose another line. Now we have this line, boom. We're, what are we doing with this line now? We're saying you can't cross this line right here. If you cross this line, we're going to punish you, right? So we get a kill here. Boom. Maybe we fall back and hold this angle. Now now our new line is right here. This is our new line. Boom. We're dead. And you know, you're going to use utility to help you out and help you establish new lines and get back to safety. So maybe our teammate throws a smoke for us or we get out. You know, maybe now we can make a new line holding long, right? So it's always about establishing a new line, right? And the idea behind it is you're always falling back, right? So did you notice that every single line I chose to hold got farther and farther back, right? Like even this line right here, maybe we're holding this line now, you know, saying if you walk into us long, you're dead now, right? Or you flash us off, whatever. It doesn't always just have to be a kill. Say I get flashed off, boom, I, I'm, I'm blind. Now our new line is playing retake, right? We're playing here and we're falling all the way back. But whatever you're doing, guys, you're always just establishing this line and making sure that they are peeking into you, right? Because as a CT opera, you have the advantage of, you know, people are going to have to peek into you and swing into you and clear you out, right? As long as you have decent reaction time, you're always going to have the advantage. If I'm holding this, even if they are ready for me in here, I'm going to have the advantage on them because it's just really hard shot for them to hit. And if I, if I have the op, it's just a really easy shot for me to hit on them, right? And you're just establishing these new positions and lines that are forcing the other team to have to try to find you, right? It's the same thing if we come here early round long, right? Now our line is all the way here, right? Like we're saying if you cross this line right here, you're dead. You're punished, right? So boom, we get a kill, right? Maybe in the next rounds, now they have to start throwing flashes because they're scared that you're on that line, right? So it's just playing these mind games with them and making sure that they have to push you back because... You know, like it's it's good that you're getting kills, but also the point of it is, guys, this isn't the bomb site, right? This area of the map is not the bomb site, okay? This isn't the bomb site, okay? The whole idea is making them push you back onto the site, right? What was our last line that I showed you? Our last line was all the way back here, right? You know, technically you could start the game out playing right here, right? Like you could. You could literally start the round out playing here. But why do we not do that? Because our whole idea is punishing the other team early and making sure that they have to burn util to push us back. And that is your job as the CT opera, right? Look at Inferno. You know, you might start our side. You might peek down mid, right? Why are you peeking down mid? Because you want to punish them if they're taking space. You want to punish them if they're trying to take that space early. That isn't the bomb site. Technically, there's no reason, you know, you have to peek. 
but you just have to punish the players and force them to burn all their utility before they come on the site, right? So as a CD opera, that is the most important thing is understanding that we're holding these lines, right? And now say I, I'm here, right? Say I'm here and I, I, I want to re-peak Sands. I want to re-peak the angle down here, but I don't have the line. Right now, my line is right here. Well, that's where utility comes in, guys. That That's where you have a teammate flash over. Boom, flash, boom. Then you get a kill, right? What I see low level operas doing is they just wanna they wanna peek all these angles. So they know people could be up here, right? They know someone could be here. So what do they do? They in in their minds for some reason they just come here and they peek, right? And then they die and they're like, Oh, he's holding that angle. Why why is he holding that angle? Well, you gave up the line and he has all the space now. Of course he's gonna be holding, you know. Maybe maybe he hits a sick shot, but of course he's gonna be holding, right? So it's just very important to realize that if you're going to be repeaking and you're going to be taking these fights, that you always have utility thrown for you. Now, guys, if we do have a spawn, you should be going for aggressive picks. You should be going for aggressive plays because that is what you're going to do to keep them off on their toes, right? You're going to keep them off balance and unsure about things. So if you have a con spawn, take it, man. Establish this control. Now that you have this control, they you know that they can't be through here. It makes your teammates' lives so much easier because now they have a you've locked down a part of the map that the other team may not know you're there, right? So when you have these aggressive spawns, you know, take it, go underwater and, and you know, maybe take this fight. Do something aggressive and keep the other team honest, right? Because now what do they have to do? They have to start burning utility on parts of the map they didn't have to burn before, right? You're just playing this mind game with them and you're being extremely effective. And you can use the same concepts I talked about earlier. You go for an aggressive pick. I'm on this line. Well, now my lines are just a lot farther in. And I, I have so many more possibilities because I was aggressive early on. Now I'm here. Boom, I get that kill. Now maybe we fall back all the way to here, right? Now we can hold this line and, you know, our teammates just have to worry about monster. But it's just creating these lines and not being greedy with where you're playing. And guys, be unpredictable, right? Don't just always fall back in these lines, right? Maybe I get a kill short. And I want to walk, I walk, rotate all the way back up on the A side, right? Maybe my teammate pushed long and now I'm established long. Maybe, maybe I take his place long and he pushes through bathrooms or something. And now I have that, you know what I mean? Always establish these new lines, but use, use your riflers as a tool to get you established on these, on these lines, right? As an opera, you have the most important gun in the game and your life is worth a lot more than the riflers lives, right? So it's extremely important guys too, on CT side that you are saving. If the round just is not possible, if it's a unadvantageous uh, retake, just save your gun, right? It is so important to have the op up on every, you know, as many rounds as you can. And if you can't, you know, retake a round or, you know, there's a scenario where it's just, it's not possible, just save it. Do everything you can to save it and get it into the next round. But yeah, guys, I think that's uh, about it for how to op on CT side. I'll be sharing more tips. Like I said, check out my opping uh playlist there's tons of great information in there and you're going to become a better opera if you watch those videos but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate the support i'm live every single day on twitch.tv slash kojomo1 go check me out check out all my socials and yeah guys it's, the support's been amazing we're posting a video every single day this year this is video number 27 we're almost a month done with our with our challenge right so it's extremely exciting and you guys can grow alongside me uh, make sure as well guys i'm doing a giveaway right now i will link the giveaway in the description of this video make sure to check it out it's a 35 dollars sticker there's lots of ways to enter and uh there will be a lucky winner drawn in 18 days so don't miss out on that that's exciting stuff and just i'm always giving back to the community guys so stay tuned for that and yeah make sure you guys just have a, a great day and keep learning good luck in all your games good luck have fun and i'll catch you guys later